So I'm just going to back off to show how sunny it is. And uh, look how milky the whole sky is. And look at all the clusters now. You can really see them on that tree. On the bottom and on the top in the middle. Those are the top ones. And I'm just showing the white ones. The whole thing is clusters. There's some lower down, like right there. All those trees are just inundated with, the, with these things. And look how milky white the air is. It's full of microorganisms that these things uh, produce. And I think those are like the eggs that just fly around in the air, fill the whole air up. Look at how thick it is, it's like fog. And that's what I'm talking about here in Toronto. All these microorganisms in the air. Look how thick the air is with them. And that's what makes things difficult for uh, anyone who has asthma or anything like that. Any sort of lung problem at all, the slightest thing, bronchitis, uh, asthma, uh, any other uh, lung related issue it's very hard to breathe because this is what the air is like just like milk and look how thick it is you can really get a sense of how thick it is right there uh, from these organisms that's the air in Toronto and this is not from air pollution this is from these organisms in their microscopic uh, form just the, the whole thing around here the air all around the city is just filled with these things and it's not fog or anything it's just them just look at how the air is like milk and look at the clusters in the trees look how many there on the left in the middle on the right side there in the middle and then on the bottom there I'll put that in the middle those are all clusters and they were moving really fast before I'll just uh, go and look for some more So that's an active cluster. I can see it's going to start glowing red and then start glowing all together. Uh, you can see a reddish halo around it already. And all those trees are full of those clusters like that. The same all over. Every tree in Toronto is just uh, inundated with all those organisms. There's no tree in Toronto that's free of them. And you can see that that one is suspended in midair. It's not even on a tree. It's right beside the tree. But the, the trees are full of them. I'm just going to see if I can find some other ones. I'll come back to that. There's one there, but it's not that visible. Uh, there's a bunch of them there in the trees. You have to look for them. But you can see 
a little light around things look over here you can see them better this thing would stay okay right there Like, all the trees are just full of them. Like that one's gonna start glowing here. See how they blend in? When I have the camera on them? They know they're on film. See how they blend in and look like a tree? As soon as they take the camera out and they start glowing. I'll have to look for other ones. Those already know I'm filming them. Okay, I only have a couple of minutes. My battery just gave me a signal. It's ready to die. Here's one. Right there. Okay, that, that one's gonna glow. Let's see over here. There's one there. And there's one here. This one's bigger. Okay, let's watch that. I'm just going to back off and show that that's right in the trees and there's nothing around it. So that cluster is not round. You see, they don't need to be round. They can take on any shape. They can take on any shape. They don't need to be round at all. I'm going to look at the one right next to it, and this one. Okay, that one's ready to glow too. You can see the red halo around them when they're ready to glow. And if it was nighttime, it would actually, you would see the glow, but being that it's sunny out and uh, too much light, you can't really see the glow right now. But eventually, when it really sparks up, you can see the glow. None of the seagulls are real, they're all holograms. What they are is four uh, orb clusters together making up the hologram of a seagull. But the seagull is like a couple of meters in length and wingspan. Uh, that's why they look so large when they pass by. Because it's four of those size orb clusters together making a shape of a seagull and an image of a seagull. It's not really a seagull at all because there are no seagulls that size. Here's this one. I'll just leave that there. <coughs> So that's right in the middle of like uh, miles of trees. All of them are. There's nothing around that entire area. 
that whole area is a, a park and a nature walk along the Humber River. So there's nothing around there. And these organisms are just everywhere. What I'm going to do is go back to that other tree. Too far. There's some right here. You can see them, especially the ones on top. There's some on the, on the bottom as well. But you can really see the ones on top there. Here's one that slipped. Okay, that one's on. Okay, 